Okay, uh, in this uh, video, we're going to look at how to multiply, divide, and exponentiate numbers uh, in exponential form. So, in each case, we're going to first express the uh, numbers in exponential form. Um, we are going to do that uh, at, uh, well, some speed this time. Um, if you want the uh, more detailed um, and slower um, video to address this, uh, do watch our part 22 video on this series. And then we are going to uh, work out the operation um, in exponential form and then um, convert back to rectangular form. So for the first question, got 1 minus i root 3 times root 3 plus i. So starting with uh, this one, if we write it in um, coordinate form, it looks like this. This one in coordinate form, it looks like that. So what's going to happen is um, for the first one uh, it's going to be in the fourth quadrant because x is 1 and uh, y is uh, negative root 3. Okay, so the radial distance for this 1 squared plus negative root 3 squared. Um, so it's going to be 1 plus 3. So this is going to be 2. Uh, and then this angle here is going to be inverse tangent of negative root 3. So it's going to be minus pi on 3. So that means that first complex number is going to be 2e to the minus pi i on 3. And then the second complex number has got uh, uh, root 3 as the x coordinate and 1 as the y coordinate. Since we have got the same numbers then again, its r is going to be 2. But uh, this angle this time is going to be inverse tangent 1 over root 3. So this is going to be 30 degrees or pi on 6. So what it means is that 1 minus i a root 3 times root 3 plus i is 2e to the minus pi i over 3 times 2e to the pi i over uh, 6. Then uh, we multiply the 2s to get 4. We add the uh, exponents so we're going to have pi over 6 minus pi over 3, which is minus pi over 6. So this is going to be minus pi i over 6. <clears throat> then express this in polar form. So it's going to be cosine minus pi i over 6, sine minus pi i over 6. Uh, punch this in the calculator um, <clears throat> so cosine minus pi over 6 is going to be the same as cosine pi over 6 by the way because cosine is uh, even so that means this is going to be root 3 over 2 then sine minus pi over 6 
uh, is going to be equal to negative one half and so we can uh, finish this off now so it's going to be root 3 over 2 minus i over 2 this is going to be 2 into root 3 minus i so that's the first one um then for the second one in b we have got 2 minus 2i all over minus 1 plus i. So for the first one, x is 2, y is negative 2. Uh, this is x, this is y. So we are in the second quadrant. Uh, this is, sorry, actually we're in the fourth quadrant x is 2, y is negative 2, 2, negative 2 here, that's going to be 45. The radial distance is going to be square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared, it's going to be square root 8. So this is negative 45, or the same as negative pi over 4. So we've got r and we've got theta. And then for this one, uh, x is negative 1, y is 1, negative 1, 1, again, this is going to be 45, which means this is 135, or 3 pi over 4. Radial distance is going to be square root 1 plus 1, so it's going to be square root 2. Okay. So then we can rewrite this number in uh, terms of exponential um, form. So it's going to be root 8, which is 2 root 2 for the first number, minus pi i over 4. Then for the denominator is square root 2e, to the 3 pi i over 4. Then here, the root 2 simply cancels out and the exponential terms we subtract. So we're going to have to work out minus pi over 4 minus 3 pi over 4. So it's simply going to be minus pi so e to the minus i pi uh, and then we express this in terms of uh, sines and cosines again we already or well, should be uh, familiar now with the fact that cosine pi is minus one so that's cosine pi that is sine pi, which is going to be zero. So minus one, so this is minus two. And then for C, we have got uh, root three minus i raised to the power of eight. So again, we're going to first express root 3 minus i uh, in um, exponential form. So we've got root 3 here, minus 1 here. Um, so this is going to be a number in the fourth quadrant, uh, root 3 here, minus 1 here. Um, we've done this combination so many times. So the radial distance is going to be 2. Uh, this angle here is going to be minus pi on 6 because it's going to be the inverse tangent minus 1 over root 3, which is minus 30 minus pi over 6. 
So that means this number here, we can write as 2e to the minus pi i over 6. And so if we raise this to the power 8, so root 3 minus i to the power 8 is 2e to the minus that all to the power 8. So this is going to be 2 to the power 8, then the powers we multiply. So power to power we multiply. So this is going to be e to the minus 8i pi over 6. 2 to the power 8 is 256. Then 8i pi over 6 is the same minus 4i pi over 3. Expand this in terms of sines and cosines. It's going to be cosine 4 pi over 3 minus i sine 4 pi over 3. Then we work this out in the calculator. So cosine 4 pi over 3 is uh, negative one half uh, sine four pi over three is negative root three on two so negative one half here minus i root three over two Okay, just one moment, but we already have a negative there, so that's going to be plus. Okay, um, so uh, if we fact out the one half, this is going to be 128 into square root 3 minus i, so actually. The eighth power of this is a multiple of the same thing. All right, uh, at this point, we are going to propose that you have a go at the remaining three problems. Um, you can pause the video, uh, work through these, and then when you continue the video, you can compare with our solutions. Okay. All right, uh, we're now going to scroll down to our solutions for D, E, and F. Um, we'd like to thank you for visiting our channel and watching this uh, video. We hope that it is helpful. We do uh, implore you to subscribe to our channel and uh, uh, if you have got any questions, we would be happy to hear them. Just post them in the comment section. Uh, please do like the video and share accordingly. So, uh, for uh, D, uh, if we take this number and express it uh, in exponential form, the x is the negative 2 root 3, y is negative 2. So, the radial distance is going to be 4. The angle, this angle here is going to be 30, so the whole angle is going to be 210, or 7 pi on 6. And then for this one, x is 1, and y is root 3. So in the first quadrant, r is going to be 2, and theta is going to be 60 degrees. So... That means we can write this quotient in this form then 4 over 2 is 2 7 pi over 6 minus pi over 3 is 5 pi over 6 then write this in terms of sines and cosines and evaluate and so that's going to be our number this first one x is minus 3 y is minus 3 so it's in the third quadrant that's going to be 45 so the whole angle is going to be 180 plus 45 which is 225 
of 5 pi over 4. Real distance is going to be 3 squared. Square root of 3 squared plus 3 squared which is 18. Or 3 root 2. This one is uh, similar uh, in, in that the right angle is going to be isosceles. So that's negative 45. So our argument is minus power over 4. The radial distance is going to be 2 root 2. So if we multiply these two, we get uh, 6 times 2 e to the pi i. Uh, but then e to the pi i is simply negative 1, so it's going to be negative 12. Uh, this time, um, the x is negative 2, the y is 2. Again, that's going to be 45, so the argument going to be 3 pi over 4 radial distance is going to be root 8 which is 2 root 2 so if you raise everything to the power 6 it's going to give us 2 to the power 9 uh, if you multiply these two it's going to be 18 i pi over 4 which simplifies to that then if you simply punch this in the calculator it gives us 512 i all right, thank you.